Needy, needy. <laughs> That's my happy laugh. Some might think it's my wicked laugh, but it's not. It's my happy laugh. It is the first day of spring. Check that. Whoa. You know, but it feels like it though, in a way, for me, the synchronicity. It's the first day of summer. I'm in my happy, happy, happy place. It's it's funny how the threes the three the, the, the three and the, the, the candle I I have the purple candle I have has uh, three wicks and uh, you know if, uh, and it's just uh, well you know what let me show you let me just show you let me not talk about it because this is about showing you right this shirt by the way says destroy stereotypes destroy stereotypes which is what which is what I do because people clearly have a misconception of who I am anyway see my candle my purple candle with the three wicks. Yeah. Wait, did you see it? With the three wicks. Did you see it? See, unlike some people, I actually do what I say. Not just from behind a couch. Not just from behind a table. Not, and I'm not knocking that. But what I'm saying is at some point, you have to go out and uh, experience your life and realize that even in the things that you do and you say, it still reflects on you. This journey is personal. You have too many people who call themselves healers. And that's always been the problem of, of humankind. That uh, people are not kind. Humans are not kind. Especially the ones who get, they'll do anything strange for change. They really will. And they will call themselves healers and, and faith walkers. They'll, they'll say they uh, are yoga, but are they really? I mean, it's just like everybody's a shaman, everybody does Reiki, everybody does spiritual work, everybody's a light being, everybody's a chosen one. No. Sorry, but no. These are energies to so say everyone is in that. Well, we all have it in you. Probably you may do have it in you, but because you have it in you doesn't mean you're it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, try, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give an example. Just because a chicken lays eggs or has eggs in it doesn't make the chicken the egg. The egg and the chicken are different. You understand what I'm saying? Rose, rose, it's energies, it's rose, all of that is synchronicity. There was something that was actually brilliant in what I said, but that just went over some of your heads. Anyway. Bottom line, this was given to me by, uh, it was given me. Ironic, the circumstance. I do realize that there are no such thing as coincidences. I'm just trying to figure out what this team is about. As this team is trying to figure out what I'm about. But uh, everybody's learning, right? Everybody's learning. So the muse, the muse tarot. I saw someone else have, have that too. And, uh, you know, and, I, and I've had it for a minute, but just like my Louis V bags. <laughs> I have probably pissed off a few of my benefactors because they don't think I take certain things serious. Certain things, and I, you know what? Oh my God, as it is like, as I'm celebrating and, rem and reminding me of my wonderful father and the lessons that I actually learned. There were times that, uh, and I'm, and I'm, a, I'm gonna blame it, blame it on. No, I can't blame it on alcohol because I, you know, I, I was always like this. But I'm gonna blame it sometimes on because my dad was a Leo. Okay, my dad was a Leo. You know, but, but you know, thank God he had a, a little bit of cancer. In, in, in him that he was a very compassionate Leo. Oh, he would bust your balls. He, I, but I never saw that. Only one time, one, maybe once or twice, he threatened to get the belt on me. And that, that's all I needed. Like, I don't, I don't want. And, and one would say I was a very sporty kid because my daddy did anything and everything for me. He did. But at the same time, spoiled and good kid are two different things. I was a very good kid. I was a very well-mannered kid till you piss me the fuck off. Then I then I automatically did become like my dad. I mean, I was more of a daddy's girl than a mama's girl. My mom was into that status and shit, Sagittarius. 
my, my dad was, uh, you know, he would begin, he was a pioneer, he was a leader, he was an activist, and he literally was that, that Jesus, that Christ energy. He, he helped a lot of people who literally stabbed him in the back. And I saw that. Ooh, notice I'm tapping. Notice, 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 oh, there we go, there we go. I start tapping when I start thinking about things that, uh, you know, how my dad was wrong and how, you know, people who you help, the dumb shit that they do. So that's why right now I'm just, you know, hanging out with dad this summer. As I, I've taken off all of 2022, there is no more activism per se. My activism is my art, my art is my activism. So if you want activism, protest, whatever, whatever, you know, you want me to go out and speak and do it, I'm doing that through my show. You will hear my protest, you will hear my platform, you will hear the music that I like, you will hear what I feel uh, brings me my inner bliss. And if it so happens to enlighten you and bring you inner bliss, make you want to dance, make you want to feel good, make you think, because that has been my mission and my vision from day one of this show. From day one in radio, I got in radio, what, uh, when did my mom die? <laughs> you think it's automatic that you remember years, right, but you, you just forget. Uh, got got married to my first husband, didn't work out in 82, and my mom died in 80, got married, yeah. Or was it married in 83? I don't know. All of that starts to be a blur. But uh, 84, she died in 84. 10 years uh, after my dad. Anyway, it's the first day of summer. Oof. What's retrograding? Saturn? Okay, yeah, okay, that figures. Anyway, so uh, I've had these for a while, so I decide that maybe with every moon cycle, I don't know, you know, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just, I've got a lot of things on my head that uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you, this, 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 whatever this energy is, I make this look really, really easy because people think that this child just, uh, I mean, I do, I do care of myself like a billionaire because in many ways I am a billionaire. I am just like some of you all are thinking you're billionaires with your crypto and your NFTs. Why, you know, I, why can't I be a billionaire? At least you're seeing tangible assets. That's the point for me, tangible assets. To whoever needs to hear this, tangible assets. Fuck the cyber money. Fuck the cyber love. I am in my Capricorn era. My midheaven is Aquarius. We are totally alien, Uranus, Pisces, Neptune, all of I, This is my world now. And even with the drama, and there is major, massive drama. Don't get it twisted just because you see me like, la, 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 I'm being the mermaid. I'm not some dizzy, Disney bitch mermaid, okay? You know, if you're the type that likes those Disney bimbo bitch mermaids, then you go for that. Usually those are men who have, uh, I won't say they have dick issues, but they have masculine issues. They're always going, a man who has masculine issues, always, <laughs> that's so true. A man who has masculine issues is always going to find someone who he thinks is beneath him. And I don't just mean somebody who like submits beneath them, that too, but he, he's always looking for somebody that's going to be his bottom bitch in every way. In other words, she can't be smarter, she can't be brighter, she can't think more or have more ideas, she cannot outdo him in anything. But what happens if he's, fucks, what happens if he's fucking up? What happens if he drops the ball? And they will because they all do all the time. Everybody plays a fool at least one time. Everybody, what goes up, goes down. I don't care how much you get, you will always come down. And if you don't have someone to help balance you, you're going to be fucked. That's a lesson. King's disease, I think they call it. King's disease. That greed and that power, that narcissistic energy gets in the way. And that's how, uh, isn't that what happened to, uh, was it David? Yeah. Mm. Ironically, my husband was David. Here we go again. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to pass it on to synchronicity with that. But anyway, uh, the muse, the muse. So I am the muse, so I'm told. Just some news. Must be just some news. Because I don't see no tangible assets for me to be anything but a news. So don't expect anything but me use energy. Which is what I'm doing. So I'm going to do this at least on the, uh, well, you know, like special occasions. Like today is the first day of summer. <laughs> and 
every time I come, this is so, y'all can keep that shit. You can, I don't, I've never cared for any of that. Fuck that Met Gala, that Coachella, that, uh, I mean, hell, I was in radio for umpteen thousand years. I did shit because it was my job. Honestly, I'm really not a people person like that. I am a people person, but I'm not a people, I don't have to have people around me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a only child military brat, which makes me one of two things, and both of those things. I am self-sufficient, and I'm good by myself. Literally. Not like... Sin, I'm hiding away. I'm such a woman. No, I'm good by myself. I have fun by myself. Whenever I try to hang around people, I, I get drained. I get drained. And they don't, and sometimes they're not aware of it because they think they're doing the damn thing. And it's just kind of like, not for me. And I mean, and then I start to feel bad because it's like, okay, and if I say something, they're going to think I'm being elitist, but this is just not my vibe. And finally, when I have to come clean with it because they think I'm feeling some kind of way when I kind of like just start to disappear, then I tell them, then they really get upset because people don't want to hear that their shit's not top notch. Ironically, the people who are quality and who are top notch people, they listen. The ones who I consider true legends and the greats, they listen. They listen to me. They listen to me. They follow me. They help guide me. And they say I help guide them. It's a, it's, a, it's a synergy. But the dumbasses, the ones who think they're all that, they think I'm just an asshole. I can't tell you how many people have brought me their music and it sucked. I mean, it really sucked. It was muddy. The quality was bad. The verbiage was off. It was never going to sell. And I'm giving them this advice for free, but they're not going to listen to me. So you go somewhere else and they tell you that your trash is, 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 is good. And you pay thousands of dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars, to uh, push your trash and wind up uh, your bank account is ruptured because your trash was trash, but they were just in it for the money. They weren't telling you the truth. People get let, you know what? The good ones have stories like this. That is not my, that is not my issue in, uh, in 2022. I, the great thing about Soul School Cafe that is what I'm focused on on this day and for the rest of the year. I'm focused on Soul School Cafe and everything that's in the element of that show, which includes my art, my activism, and uh, the fact that I do commercials. If you do, if you need a commercial, I'm your girl. I'm a professional broadcaster. I'm a professional voice talent. My voice is already being heard, whether you know it or not, and you don't because uh, I'm that good. My voice is being heard already all over the world. You would know it. Well, am I not richer than I am? That is the question. Some of it is the industry and some of it's me. Is it 50-50? There's just certain freedoms I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna give up. And I make that sacrifice for me. I will sacrifice a little money for my happiness and peace. That's just, I don't need, like I said, I don't need that clout. I don't need that Met Gala action. I don't need popper. I don't want to be famous. You know, let, 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 let me, you have some people, I just want to be famous. I don't want to be famous. I want to be known. I want to be recognized for the work that I do. Not just recognized just because I'm somebody recognized. No, I want to be recognized for the work that I do, the quality work that I do. If it's not quality, and I'm not talking about from that hater industry, because bitch, I know my shit is quality just by the real legends that tell me my shit is quality. So I don't need no mother to tell me my shit ain't quality. I already know it is. But I want to be recognized. Clearly, since she steal it, so I want to be recognized. You know, uh, I want my shit back. I'm taking my shit back, my energy, my blueprint back. I want to be recognized for my blueprint of me doing what I do very very well so well that people copy it i am the influence let's keep that straight i am the influence let's keep that straight the one who says he's the influence who's influencing him let's be clear put two and two together by body of work you think that is, is influencing and inspiring, all of that? But I get why he would say that. I really do. 
what I don't get is, you know, like, what, what exactly am I to you? Because you are very confusing. And you have got to, like, I work with men. My job. And I have brothers. No, they're not lovers. Yeah, I'm talking to someone right now because this is the, this is this, this is the way they're communicating. You know, you know that movie where everybody just talked because that's some bullshit shit. People uh, people put themselves in such gilded prisons. I would never, and that's why that's why I turned down certain things. I could never live that life. Never say never, bitch. I said never, and I'm happy. I'm not the one. I'm not the one jacking you. I'm not chasing. Let's get back to whoo. Who's uh, nothing to do with this summer, <laughs> except for the fact that it makes me feel like a troll that it's summer. <laughs> it is my summer. So, uh, 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 so, so I recognize, but you know, I recognize we're all learning something, aren't we? Yeah. Check your baggage and your dogs. So what's it? didn't stutter because I'm a big girl now. Anyway, <laughs> riding with daddy. I rode with mama Mother's Day. It is May was a month. It's been a year. And I mean, you would not know that I'm like, I'm going through some shit. I am. But I'm like, no, nah, I'm like, do I, am I aware? Now, man, it's, it's, it's like I'm in superhero state. It's like I'm in that stage where I was two years ago when I knew the second time that I literally was dying and on the floor and I'm like, I'm not gonna make it. This thing is taking me out and I know I'm, I, I can die right now and I'm not gonna die in my own shit. If I call, you know, EMS or whatever, they're gonna body bag me because that's when the pandemic, pandemic, you know what it is, uh, just, just happened and they were body bagging everybody that like remotely, like if nobody knew what it was. So I'm like, I had to save myself and I didn't just, if I had, if I had a waited on Jesus, I wouldn't be talking to you today. I had to become that Jesus. I had to get up and find that strength in me. I had to deal with the beast myself. It was death in the desert or live. And I chose to live like I'm doing now. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. And you start to recognize the beautiful lesson about it, and especially with this being Black Music Month, which we're also sharing our heritage and our history, which people try to minimalize and try to capitalize on that. And that's why I will never allow you in my presence and in my space and in my time, I will not waste my time with bullshit and have you come capitalizing and trying to ride the back on my struggle and my story and my narrative and my mission and my history and my history and my vision. I will stick you down respectfully. And you can either hear what I have to say or you can fucking leave. It's just that simple. I don't need you. I'm good. I don't, I don't, I don't run in those circles where I have to have certain people. We can shut you down. You can't do shit to me. You can't do shit about my money. But I can do something about yours. Remember, I, I influence the influencers. You fucking with the wrong bitch when you fucking with me. You, y'all motherfuckers should, you should have never let me get into my power. <laughs> Your word is of it all. I might need a trainer, not a trainer. That's not a good word. I cannot be trained. A handler, I don't like that word either. A mate sounds nice. Somebody to help balance it. A mate mate. Not a playmate. Not a, not a, not a, I'm not being nobody's beer. I'm not doing that. Said that in a minute. A mate mate. So this Muse card, we're gonna pick two. Since, you know, but today is a day, the day is a six day, so it's a, uh, wait a minute, six, June 21, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, one, five, six. Those six and some fives just be 
Okay, well, since two, 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 we're gonna pull two cards for the muse. And this is a more about me. So I'm, I, I, I can't, if you guys resonate with the story and you feel like somewhere or another, this is resonating with you too, then, you know, hey, join the journey. Be my guest. I just felt that was crazy. Why do I have two packs, Why do you just play? Because, you know what? Different in separating the path. Actually, that makes sense. There's a lot who went on there. Every time I come here, there's a lot. And that's the thing. If you come here, with, and some of these cars are turned up and down, and I don't care. It's just, you know, how it comes out. How it, how it comes out. But every time I come here, it's like super magical. And for years, I, uh, and, and people still don't understand it, but they don't understand me or they don't pay attention to me when I'm just doing my thing. They think they are, but what they do instead, they watch almost like to copy or to get or something. I don't know. They don't watch the actual what I'm doing. They don't, they still don't get what I'm doing. I make it look too easy. They don't get the history and the history and the, the energy and all of the, all of it that has gotten me to this point. This point didn't come just after I got on radio at, at, at D103 or We Do or a Foxy or Power or Magic in Atlanta or any of that. This is a long time. This is even before I was born. This was, you know, something going on with my mom and my dad and their parents. I mean, my grandfather on my mother's side and, and my grandmother, that was my balance. I don't, I, my grandmother on my, uh, mother's side was already gone and my grandfather on my daddy's side well you know I, I come to find out why he was invisible I didn't know but that's one thing about Pisces we are especially super Pisces we are empathic and don't even know it our instincts that's why my aunt who was a Pisces my mom's sister my godmother taught me to always follow my instincts. She didn't always listen to hers. And I saw how that hurt her. My husband used to always say, you just like her. And I said, no, nah, I'm not. And we'd have, we have literally, we'd have arguments about that. Because my, my aunt was going through some stuff that I didn't know all of what it was. From, uh, My uncle. I started. To, I started to say my aunt's husband. Uh, he, it, it, near the end, it, he became more of my aunt's husband than my uncle. A man of the cloth, doing all the wrong things. All of my inheritance that she left to me, some limbo bitch and a church guy. But he was a man of the cloth, with the church feeding him, and they lived right beside the church. The house that they both built and everything went to the church, came apart a lot. I have lost more stuff to uh, in-law fires and churches, so I have absolutely no room for crazy, toxic in-laws with generational curses. I don't give a fuck what your problem is. I'm not here to forgive you or help you or enable you. I'm setting these rules up front. I don't want nothing to do with you. You are invisible to me. And when I make you invisible, I mean, I can make you invisible. I have various ways. Spiritual. If you don't believe in spirit, then that's on you. That's the one. Don't mess with me. When I don't want you around me, just, you know, don't, don't be tricky. Because you realize that whatever is going on with you has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with your insecure ass. You're insecure, can't deal with your own shit, but you want to help the world. How about you help the world by helping you? Val Jones Challenge. Hashtag Val Jones Challenge. Find your inner bliss. Find your inner bliss this summer. Find your inner bliss and speak on that. Find your inner bliss and show that. Imagine if we all showed good vibe. Not faking it for the gram. Not faking it. Is there any money? No, you know, no, 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 there's no money in it per se. But then there again, there is. There's your joy. There's there's the, the fact that you took it upon yourself to say, I am gonna make myself happy. 
I'm going to do what I can to make me happy. I'm not going to rely on something outside of me to make me happy. I'm going to take charge of my life, all of it, financially, spiritually, religiously. Leave those churches alone. If, 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 your, church, if, if, if your church can't miss you for two weeks, then you're so, if you can't take a vacation from your church for two weeks, your church is conning your ass. If you can't take a two-week vacation, nobody, even jobs give you two weeks vacation. If you can't take a two-week vacation from your church, you are addicted. Somebody is somebody is the, is the crack dealer and somebody's on the crack. Said it a minute. Prove me wrong. There you go. All summer. Thou jump challenge. Find your inner bliss. Prove me wrong. Put those videos and mean it. You do know God is watching. They can tell a fake smile. So all you Christians, God is paying attention. You better make sure that smile is real. Because you're going to get the energy that you're actually putting out. Not from the outside, but in your heart. You know that scale of my heart? Yeah. Season. Integrity. Is your conscience as light as a feather? Or is it heavy like a ton of bricks and lies? Like Marley's chain. I know this energy is hard, you know, a little bit, but you can hear me. Anyway, let's pull these two cards. Let's go ahead and wow. Ooh. Okay. I got to go. Oh my God, what time is it? Okay, oh, I'm good time. I got because you know, hey man, I am like, it is not. The beach body, the beach body is back almost. So I am, it's first day of summer. You know where I'm at it. In the water. Yes. So uh, let's do this. 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 It's always the way. It's a pick a card. It's like, it's always you. You wait for something to fall. No, it's always you. Pick it in your mind. Okay, we're going to get that one. And that's that one. Yep, that's one. And that's same thing here. My mind is picking. Parents, we like that. Mine. Like, you're not going to pop out and fall out, whatever. Mm -mm. Let's be real about it. So that shit don't be always pop up and fight. It don't always. Sometimes it does. But, like, not like that. So, bottom line, do what they really do and just show it. Be Show your integrity. Just pick one. You're talking about you anyway, so it's your energy. You're attracting whatever it is, so. Boom, whatever you're feeling. So, okay. We got the, ooh. Yikes. <laughs> Boy, I got my way back. It's a five of emotions. Bad day, Maleficent vibes. Wait a minute. Let me not, uh, let me not, let me not project. Let me, let me not, let me not project. Uh, yeah. Where are we at? Five of emotions. I don't read the instructions on this book, so I, but but you know I'm, it, at least it didn't take me as long to find it this time, so I'm getting better. Patterns, practice. Five of emotions. Keywords. Me not having my glasses, I can't see. Processing. Processing sadness or grief. Processing sadness or grief, loss, getting stuck in a negative pattern or emotion, not seeing the way out, uh, crying over applied, crying over spilt milk, learned helplessness, becoming enamored of the shadow, a time, a time to find new hope, prompt, stolen life. Stolen life, what was it? Stolen. 
So am I forced. Now, ironically, I don't feel any of that. So I'm not accepting that. But on the irony is... If it's not me, then it's for whoever I'm tethered to. So this is for you. Okay. I wasn't even trying it, but right off the bat, this is for you. Hey, she got my glasses. When all the world feels like ice, the five of emotions knows that we have drifted away from our emotions once more. We grow cold, hard, distant. Oh yeah, this is definitely, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm distant, but I'm, well, uh, okay. Who else starts and stuff? Don't mind me. I'm having a conversation with myself. You guys say I've been having one anyway, and I really, really do. So, you know, I'm just playing the role. I'm starring in the movie of me. No one can play me but me. Clearly. Clearly. Oh my God, so many have tried. All have been unsuccessful because no one can play me but me. It's weird. People try to try to pass someone in my role. But God put me in this role. How do how how the how the fuck you think anybody can fit in my role, in my shoes, on my throne, wear my crown? God gave this to me. God, you understand that? God and Goddess. Let's get it clear. My parents did this. How the fuck you think you gonna take it? That's some delusional, you know what, that's why I said people like that make me like stranger danger, man, stranger danger. I don't, I don't, people roll up on me too fast or when you start mimicking, I don't like this mirroring thing. That makes me like, that. I don't like it. And people do that and, and, and that's like a big thing, you know, in, in the entertainment industry right now. I don't know if it's right now, if it's been like that since, you know, the crazy ass reality shows, but everybody's, that's how they get their clout and their money and shit like that. They mirror, they find people who ain't got time to, you know, on their hand desperate. I don't know what the fuck the reason why they do it. I'm just not one of those. I didn't feel like I'm not going to do that. And then you just give and give and give. It's like you give up your time. And, and then you have some weird type of cult type of presence going on. You're just giving and giving. It. But what exactly are you getting? It's like the NFTs and the crypto. The, the people who get it are the people at the top. But you're not going to get shit. But you won't know until you lose your shit. See, I can tell you, but you think I'm the crazy one until it happens to you. I just have a very, very, very keen, sharp ability Thank you, Daddy, and the fact that I paid attention to my elders and my old people. I paid attention to Grandma when nobody was, didn't want to talk to Grandma right then and thought she was crazy. I was listening to every word she said. When she supposedly had a stroke and wasn't talking to anybody, and I would tell my mom, she talks to me, and mom would say she talks to who she wanted to talk to. And she hadn't talked to some of the family in years and lived with them. But she talked to me every time I came out there. And I'm thinking, are we doing telepathy? Now, we could have been doing telepathy because she was a Pisces, too. So that is very, very, I mean, that could be very, very true. We just had that bond. We really, we really did have that bond like that. But I'm just saying, I know how uh, a Pisces can be. We can cut you off completely and just not. You can be right in the room with us, and we won't say a word. You are invisible. We are just that cold. <laughs> we are just that warm. And we're just that cold. That's why we try to stay balanced. Finish reading this. Okay, okay, okay. She knows that underneath it all, we miss the tender aching for joy of our own hearts. She feels, she feels uh, it all for us. All the hurt. All the sadness, all the grief, and all the love, laughter, and helplessness. Okay, you know what? 
that's it. Work on it. I'm over it. This is not my lesson to learn. Not my journey. Somebody need to hear that. This one clearly was. I'm running that I'm a, a left, a, 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 my, I would have been a left-handed person and my dad was left-handed. What is this? Ace of Voices. By the way, isn't this car so cute? Isn't this car so cute? So, oh, okay. So what I'm hearing is that what my right hand picked from my mom's side. That figures. And daddy's energy. This, this is the, this is, I don't even know what this is, but you see how I perk up and say, the other one's like, ugh. <laughs> Memories. Memories. I want you to do this and that. And do I have to? Well, is it it? Daddy, do I have to do this? Do you want to do a pumpkin? I do not. She doesn't have to do it. I regret not one moment of it. I am not. I am not ashamed, or do I regret any of it? I will do it again, and again, and again. I love my dad. I love my mom too. But I'm daddy's little girl. But I'm like my mom too. Anyway, Ace of Voices. This one's for me. What is this saying? Let's go. Notice how perked up. Daddy to the rescue. The <laughs> of everything. Oh my God, I am living it too. It's the Val John Struman Show. I am living this in real time. You can't make this shit up. You can't script this. I don't have my glasses. They're in the car though. But uh, I got to get in the water. Oh my gosh, what a magical day. The Ace of, the Ace of Voices is the first one. Okay, it would be, it's because it's the ace of voices. The ace of voices. A flash of clarity and fresh. A revelation. A new paradigm. Visionary thinking. New growth in realities. Prompt. Flashlight of truth. I don't need to say no more. That's it. It's summer. Daddy's little baby love money, money. Daddy's little baby love money in my hand. Daddy's little baby love money, money. Daddy's little baby love money in my hand. Trips to the beach, good things to eat, happiness and peace, all of that. Daddy's little baby love happy, happy. Daddy's little baby love money in my hand. <laughs> intention, intention, intention. There was love in there. Did you feel it? There was, there was love in there. There was love. I distinctly said love. You didn't feel it. You didn't get it yet. Message. It's a sixth day. We already talked about that, the harmonizer, right? And uh, I had lined the cards up and um, I don't know how. Anyway, see, see, and this was on top of the day. Not worried. I'm not. I'm not worried. I'm not dealing with that one. This one in particular, the six of inspirations. So a six day, a six just the way things are lining up. And three, you know, at the door. And three is the my go number, my expression number. The number of expression. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, was it the six of inspiration? 
key words, victory and recognition, a homecoming, being seen, recognition for a job well done, being thanked, the spotlight, healing your fear of success, the truth of confetti. The Six of Inspiration stands proudly in front of her star lights. What was that? Did you see that? I mean, like... The Six of Inspiration stands proudly in front of her star lights. She is graceful, unabashed, and elegant in the face of praise. She knows that she has given all her energy to this victory and that during the long journey leading up to here, to this place of acknowledgement and praise, she has offered all her heart and dedications to this success. Triumphantly, she comes home to a beautiful celebration and she has to show up now. <laughs> Every once more to illuminate the way for others to do the same. To be continued. What? I don't know. I guess we'll see. It's a new journey. Remember? Even we don't know. <laughs> we just know. That part, though. <laughs>